So I'm gonna preface preface this by saying I have no idea about anything related to this except for the fact that there was a huge drama involving a blindfold speedrun and a creator lying to everyone about it. So this is my Hello, first you video absolute on it. Legends. Last also, month, hi, the streamer known as Queen Pones a lot pretended to beat the dragon Alatreon wearing a blindfold. This garnered her quite a lot of attention, but when people experienced okay. with the game she was playing and those experienced in blindfold speedrunning saw her video, they realized immediately it was fake. Unfortunately, Queen Pones a lot's effort of faking a blindfolded run was extremely poor. Not only was she using stra- Was extremely poor? What the heck? Hmm. Let me move myself over to this side. Just so we don't like, so I don't try and cover stuff. Strategies that are just flat out impossible to use while blind, but the blindfold she was using was so thin and obviously fake, even we, the viewers, could see straight through it. Soon enough, people were making videos calling true. out her fake run, and Queen Ponzalot was beginning to get quite a lot of negative attention. As it turns out, the public doesn't appreciate liars and people who try to fake gaming accomplishments for clout. After receiving backlash, Queen Ponzalot fought back, announcing that she was going to do another blindfolded run of the the dragon Alatreon, but this time with more proof. On the 14th okay. of February, she went live, and she- Hmm. I mean, that is definitely more proof compared to that tiny flimsy blindfold that she had the first time, which was clear that you could see through it. Especially if you had, um, a light. <laughs> uh... She was stacked to the gills with iron-clad anti-cheat measurements. This time she wore a genuine blindfold. Ooh. She had a hand cam. She had input display. She had paper oh, covering wow. up her monitors. And she was live. Surely there was absolutely no way she could cheat. And with all of this in place, she did it again. She beat the dragon Alatreon in front of hundreds of people. She was so convincing that it seemed like everyone now believed she was legit. But anyway, yeah, it looks like the Altrion blindfold kill Damn. was actually real. It did actually happen. Maybe we got it wrong. Maybe Queen Ponzalot was just more gifted than everyone else. Honestly, looking at her doing stuff and dodging and things, like, I don't think the patterns are that mm, scripted for the boss. But also, like... I don't know, this movement doesn't look like something a blind person would have necessarily. Reaction time and stuff. Because I feel like and without really sound cue, you'd need to no dodge a lot could. of different or maybe, things. Just maybe, she just cheated again, and we don't know how. But honestly, when I first saw her new six Then again, I also don't know anything about speedrunning or blindfold running, so uh I would not be able to tell whether she is legit or not legit. Because I'm not an expert in this, so I don't feel comfortable sharing my opinion. <laughs> Unlike other people, I'm just like, I have no idea, man, if that's true or not. Successful attempt, I didn't know how she did it. But I did know two things. One, her gameplay was impossible to do blind. Yeah, I mean, she had 4,000 runs, right? always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. I Who the fuck says you are... Uh who the fuck says autistic power? Ha Excuse me? <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> bruh, I, you, I can't believe she used that to defend that people underestimate the autistic power. I'm like, seriously? Artistic or- I heard autistic. Maybe I misheard. Let's listen again. Mind. And two, people always underestimate the autistic power of speedrunners. No, she- she definitely said autistic. I mean, he said autistic. But she- but he's saying she said it. But yeah, she had 4,000 kills, right? If you look at the- oh, you can't see it. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me- let me move the- there you go. Actually, let me just disable it for this video. There you go. 
I was committed to finding out how this was done. I envisioned sophisticated cheating methods that would be impossible to detect. I figured that whatever Queen Pongelot did must be pretty genius to fool everyone so easily. For three days, I meticulously studied her video. I worked with experts to clarify game mechanics. I spoke with programmers to see if we could replicate her run using advanced software. But I was getting nowhere. And mm -hmm. then, after 72 hours of running into dead ends, I finally saw it. I noticed that Queen Pongelot did something that gave everything away. The curtain was lifted, and the magician had exposed her secrets. I had the smoking gun, and within 20 minutes of seeing Queen Pongelot a lot do this one thing, we knew exactly how she did it, and we had the proof. As it turns out, I was on the wrong track the entire time. I thought the method she used must have been smart because no one detected it. But in the end, it turned out to be the simplest and dumbest method I could have imagined. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how Queen Pongelot faked her most recent blindfolded takedown of the dragon. So basically, Everyone was looking for like this hidden thing, this this subtle thing that's really hard to detect. And meanwhile, she was just like it was just staring in their faces, glaringly so. Dragon Elatreon, and I guarantee that you'll be shocked at just how many things she did to try and fool you. I really hope you enjoy. Legends, let's be honest. If you're watching my channel, it's because you are a gigantic nerd. I'm a huge nerd, I feel you're out. a huge nerd, <laughs> that's just the way it is. And as nerds, there is nothing more important or fulfilling than having a really good gaming PC. Which is why you mm -hmm. should invest in a PC from today's sponsor, Starforge Systems. Starforge makes things super easy, especially for people- <laughs> Starforge might make things super easy, but I'm European. And that shit's expensive and overpriced. So, I'm sorry, but your sponsor- does not interest me. People like me who don't know how or just don't want to build their own PC. They offer amazing pre-built PCs at all different price points. Don't so get if me you wrong. Go in with a certain budget, people getting you know like you're going to get the pre you can for your money. I'm fine for Starforge now. Starforge PCs are used by tons of your favorite creators. Not everyone has time myself. to research they or patience. They are built by hand in Austin, Texas, by experienced builders. They yeah, I'm pretty sure it's US only. And they run smoothly. Plus, they are reliable, coming with a full two-year They might have changed. And labor I don't warranty. know. I rely on my PC for absolutely everything including this YouTube channel. My standards are extremely high. I need something powerful and I need something quiet. Mm. Like, don't get me wrong, right? I have a... <laughs> I had to uh, take apart computers. I had to take apart floppy disks. I, I had to look at floppy disks and computers and disks and weird shit and components and hard drives and, and figure out everything about computers, right? Take them apart, put them together. So like for me, building my own PC is fun. It's tedious slightly to make the cables nice, but it's pretty fun. So I'm like, I I understand that it's a service, but just like any service, you pay extra. And the PC I got from Starforge Systems was literally everything I could have asked for. Like, Please get yourself a PC you deserve. You pay the way too to much extra when computers are super expensive. Today. In my previous video, we looked at Queen Pongelot's earlier blindfolded runs, where she used a really thin, transparent sheet of material to cover her eyes and pretended that she couldn't see. In this case, it was so easy to debunk because everyone can just use their own eyes and see that her blindfold was fake. As far as her yeah. gameplay was concerned, it's also really obvious that she can see as well. She claims to use the audio to know exactly where the monster is, but years of blindfolded competition tells us that this is impossible. I also highlighted that beyond knowing where the monster is, it's also impossible to detect I whether you're looking this up or down. So boss. if you see a blindfolded player using their mouse to look up or down, you know they can see. In her latest attempt, we see all of those impossible gameplay mechanics in action once again. And in some cases, it's I even see. worse. She will access the menu in order to use items and mess up the camera, and then immediately and perfectly fix it. She even does this when the dragon is not making any sounds at all, so there is quite literally no audio cue, like in this example. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu running about! Beyond the impossible vertical movement, we also see crazy head tracking in real time that is just laughable. I mean, just look at this gameplay. 
Okay. In the last clip, she is rolling underneath the dragon, keeping the camera on its head perfectly as she does it. It's hilarious. And remember, looking up does nothing. It doesn't let her hit any higher, so there is literally no point in doing this other than to see the head, which makes no sense if you're blindfolded. All of this seems very confusing because she appears to be wearing a proper <sighs> blindfold. Okay, on this part, as a person that doesn't know anything about blindfold speedrunning, right? Yes, there isn't any logical point to be looking up. However, from years of, like, she she killed the dragon 4,000 times, right? You're used to moving your camera upwards every time. So it becomes like a motion that you do of muscle memory, right? That's what I would personally assume as a person that has no freaking clue, mind you. But, like, it's hard to not do something that you're used to doing. And as I mentioned before, her monitors are even covered up with paper, meaning that she can't see them anyway. This led me to consider other ways she might be playing without seeing. One way would be some kind of aimbot. Aimbots are common in many games, so it's possible if she had some kind of sophisticated software, it could help her aim on the dragon. This would solve the problem of locating the dragon, and also solve the vertical aiming issue. However, this wouldn't solve all of the problems, like being able to dodge attacks that don't have sound cues. In one instance, she accidentally hooks onto Alatreon's leg instead that of its head, and immediately releases before targeting the head again. But there is no audible difference between hooking onto the leg or the head, so there is no way she should have- Is there no audible difference when you hear the audio coming from the head? Because, like, you can kind of tell the difference between when, like, if they're facing that way and shouting, you can tell that it's from the left, right? I don't know whether, like, when you're hooked, you hear it. Because, again, I, I would assume that it's louder, yeah. But I don't know if that's the case in Monster Hunter. Because it's been too long since I played it and I definitely was not playing when this boss came out. Known. In order to solve issues mm -hmm. like this, I theorized that maybe someone was talking to her and giving her instructions through Discord. With someone in her ear and some aim assist software, you might be able to play like this without sight. I reached out to Monster Hunter World expert TSC, who actually developed the True. first known aimbot of the game. According to him, if she was using an aimbot to achieve this effect, it would require software far more sophisticated than anyone in the community currently possesses. It seems unlikely that this was the method. The most common theory I saw online was that she was using pre-recorded gameplay. Maybe she beat Alatreon earlier and just played that gameplay footage during her live stream. Something like this has been done before. Oh, I even damn. made a video about a speedrunner who cheated by using a pre-recorded run during a live charity marathon. However, I didn't believe this was the case. Queen Ponzalot had two cameras and they were both completely in sync. I studied her mouse movements and they always seemed to match what was going on in the game. And so did her keyboard inputs. Her mouse sensitivity was very high, so a lot of movements are hard to see, but I couldn't see any discrepancies. It did. However, you could have the second camera having recorded beforehand and have only this one that's where she's talking do it. <laughs> Like, um, yeah, like the camera can definitely be part of a video uh, footage. Welcome to the rabbit hole pause. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that is a lot of methods that people think one can cheat, though. I did not consider the Discord one. That's a pretty good one because you can screen share the game at the same time and have someone in Discord. That's a, that's a pretty cool one, but you need hella coordination from someone being able, like, being able to take input and info from that person and react to it. It appears as though she was actually playing. 
In my opinion, this also ruled out the idea that someone else was playing instead of her, perhaps by using remote assistance. This is an idea that the YouTuber Abisoft spent some time investigating to see if it could work. But aside from her mouse movements matching her gameplay, latency issues would also be a huge problem. Some people suggested that she was using a magician's mm -hmm. blindfold and she could see through it. But this is extremely unlikely. Her blindfold doesn't look like any fake blindfold I could find, and we know what blindfold she has because it was recommended to her. Blindfolded expert Mitris has the exact same one, and it looks exactly the same. One other thing people noticed, and trust me, we noticed this immediately too, is that after Queen Ponzalot killed Alatreon and lifted the paper up, there was something on her screen. And it seemed like she noticed this and moved the paper back down to try and hide it. I pause it. What is on the screen? Okay. And what is on the thing? Is Monster Hunter on her screen? And then watch what happens. She puts it back down to cover. She's quickly trying to hide it. And then the game comes back up on screen. Damn. This is the Windows Start menu. And the reason it that appeared looks like is because she hit the Windows key. Or something? In fact, she hits the Windows key multiple times throughout her blindfolded attempts. This bugged the hell out of us. And we had no idea why she was doing it. Could this have something to do with how she was faking her gameplay? At seemingly random times, she would hit the Windows key, which would tap her out of the game. This that is caused so her weird. inputs to stop working. She would then need to hit the escape key to try and get back into the game. Watch this clip where she hits the Windows key and then spends 10 seconds trying to get the game to work again. I mean, you could say that she simply misaligned her hand, right? On that. Like, you know how sometimes you just move your hand slightly and because of that you press all the wrong keys? <laughs> it happens sometimes and you have to like realign yourself. So that is possible. This is bizarre, and she does this multiple times but without ever mentioning it. She acts as if this really weird thing that she is doing isn't happening, which is obviously really suspicious. Ultimately, it seems like this is some kind of unrelated tech issue that she was having with her eye tracker. Multiple times before she even started her blindfolded attempts, we can see her hitting the Windows key in order to fix something. She even mentioned it earlier in her stream. We needed to fix That was the exact same thing that she had to fix there. I think this tech issue has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. Mm -hmm. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blindfolded and couldn't see, but knew there was some kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she did all see. And to ask is how did she know? Adra, thank you so much for the tier free sub. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Where is she looking though? Like, it looks like she's reading something off something on her right side. Has nothing to do with her blindfolded attempts. But an important question to ask is how did and she... And she's moving her cursor and everything. No, there was a problem. She was blindfolded and couldn't see, but knew there was some kind of technical issue Mirrored and always camera. tried to fix it. And she did all of this without looking mm. and without saying anything to her audience. It's all really bizarre. Of this, but to ask is how did she know there was no. a problem? Look she was at, blindfolded. Look at the look at the mug. But an important question to ask is how did she know there was a problem? She was blind. She might have and another monitor. See, but knew there was some. She might have another monitor on that side. She was definitely reading something or looking at something and interacting with a mouse with it. Kind of technical issue and always tried to fix it. And she did all of this without looking and without saying anything to her audience. It's all really bizarre. In the end, however, Stream after tablet. discovering the truth, I realized this was a giant red herring. After several days of brainstorming, I was beginning to run out of ideas. But then, in the middle of mm. the night, I revisited a question I had from day one. There was something that Queen Pones a lot did that was really strange, and I couldn't figure it out. Immediately after she covers 
her main monitor with paper. While she is attempting to distract her viewers, she holds down her left mouse button for 10 seconds. This was actually one of the very first things I noticed when investigating her run, but I never had an answer as to why she did it. Normally, when you hold a button down for a few seconds, it activates something. And this was one of the reasons I it thought does? she was using some kind of software. But I had overlooked something that was so obvious and so simple. Do you have a link for it? Yeah, here you go. Uh, this is the video. I can't believe I didn't see it immediately. If I Once hold I down the click, it doesn't doing, happen anything. It was game no. over. Holding her mouse button down for 10 seconds told me everything I needed to know. It Seriously? unlocked all of her secrets. It revealed to me that there was in fact a third hidden monitor. How does that tell Queen you Pongelot that she had to the believe free? that she only had? I mean, I expect she. I suspected she has another monitor by the fact that she was looking in the wrong direction, first of all. And doing stuff with the mouse. But, like, how does holding down a button tell you that? <laughs> Excuse you? Like, I'm holding down my button right now. And not doing anything with it. It's just holding it down on a browser. Like has two monitors. When she covers them up, she makes sure to verbally state that her monitor on the left has all of her other stuff on it. To the main attraction, as we get our duct tape for our main monitor because, yeah. Okay. There's the other one. So you guys know. There it is. With all my other stuff on it. Boom. This is a lie. In truth, she has a third monitor to her right, off camera. Before she covers it with paper, we can see that her main monitor has her OBS streaming software on it. This shows her gameplay, and it also has her Twitch chat docked into it as well. One thing that struck me as odd is how she decided to wait until her monitors were covered with paper before setting everything up. This makes no logical sense, and she even tries to act like this wasn't on purpose. No problem. All right, uh... Alright, cool. Now, alright. Oh god, I'm sorry, I didn't think this through. But the reason she did this is because she had to ensure that what she did was hidden from the camera. This is where the beauty of the input display comes in, because we can still see everything she's doing. But it's obvious she is trying to hide it. What she does next is very sneaky. She lifts up the paper on her main monitor, which has her OBS on it. She clicks on her OBS window and holds... Uh, let me move myself so you guys can see it properly. Wow. I should be able to see you better now. down the mouse key. Then, while she is holding down the mouse button, she distracts her audience with verbal diarrhea. Where is... That's why we go through what we go through, right? <laughs> verbal diarrhea! You know? And it's the way that it has to be. And, uh... Next is the key that I should have seen immediately. What is the most common thing you do when you hold down your mouse button? You drag windows. While talking, she drags her OBS to her hidden monitor on the right. We can confirm this with the input display. We can see her hand move it to the right, and she even looks at her hidden monitor on the right when she does this. Sure, I guess. That's why we go through what we go through, right? You know? And it's the way that it has to be. And, uh... That is she pretty obvious at that on start, the too. Monitor. I mean, it was obvious in the other clips as well, when she was holding the mug and, uh, like, looking on one side. But, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny that he got the hint from... from the mouse thing. That's actually uh, to cool. To see the game. Immediately after this... I did not like first of all, you know when someone moves uh to the to the right and to the left because that's what happened. It moved first to the right and then to the left. How recent is the video? Uh, yeah, it's pretty recent. A few days ago, I think. Yes, she pretends to move the OBS to her left monitor. Yeah, exactly. Obvious stuff is stuff you ignore. For me, like. Move that over. 
I noticed the fact that she was holding her mug and looking at something while she moving the mouse. She moves her mouse to the left, she looks to the left, and she even says that she's moving something. However, we can see on the input display, she doesn't even click her mouse. <laughs> now, despite the fact her monitor on the... <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny and dumb, man. But yeah, they were definitely trying way too hard to look for complicated things. For me, it was obvious because first of all, right, the video is about her faking it, right? So I automatically go into the mindset that she was faking it. And I don't know anything about fancy tech stuff regarding speedrunning and so what people can do, what's allowed, what's not allowed, if you can do macros, if you can't do macros, right? So I don't know what's considered cheating and what's considered legal. Uh... But the thing that stood out to me was the way she was looking when she was sipping on her coffee the or tea. The is supposed to be a secret. She cannot <laughs> help but stare at it constantly. She even responds to this exact message in chat while looking at it. However, mid-sentence, she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. Alright. Oh yeah. Everything, everything will be unedited. After panicking and thinking for 10 seconds, she tried- <laughs> After panicking and thinking for 10 seconds. I mean, that's a bit... far-fetched. Playing the devil's advocate uh, in this situation. Because, like, I know she cheated, so I'm not, like, defending her. But that, that logic in itself is a bit far-fetched because... Oh yeah, simply means, oh yeah, I just... I just realized I forgot to tell you guys. You should like, you know, like it, it's just like I don't correlate that with the comment. To me, that seems a bit far fetched. She tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. Oh yeah, everything everything will be unedited. Okay. Said the funny okay, thing well, Queen at Crunch that point, reading, right, like, letting the entire thing play, that's her own mistake there. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Like, I, I can see why he made the what he said before, right? Because she literally went, what did you say, unedited? Like, if she just ignored the comment, what she said, the words she said, were perfectly fine. Chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no need to have chat there in the first place. And it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. And it also causes her to screw up by responding to it. I'm guessing she just couldn't help herself, and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. So we know that she has a monitor to her right. Yeah, but that's how pretty does dumb. She see it? Well, the secret is in how she's wearing her blindfold. She's wearing it very, very loosely. It's barely able to stay on her face, and on top of that, she wears it very high. This is not how you're supposed to wear a blindfold. Anyone who owns a blindfold like this knows you don't wear them loose, you wear them tight. If you wear them loose, light gets in. By wearing her blindfold loose, she can see through a small gap between her nose and the blindfold. The gap Nose? I would have assumed she maybe sees from the side, but for the nose? Gamer Juzzy yeah, has like already heads, replicated VRs her have setup. that thing. In yeah. this case, he showed his two monitors, which he turned off. He wore a proper blindfold. He used the exact same input display, and he had a hand cam. With all of this, he also killed Alatreon in expert fashion. I see. Here, he explains how he did it. As you can see now, my monitors are off and I'm blindfolded, but um, despite my short-sightedness without glasses, I can clearly see these targets and shoot at them. And why is that? It's because there's a secret here. That's insane! Right now, I'm wearing the blindfold, right? But 
I can see out the gaps between my nose and my blindfold. And if I wore it even looser, I'd be able to see out the sides left and right in my peripheral vision. That is crazy that you can then see through those gaps like that. the fact that another thing you guys noticed, there's two monitors here, right? But they're not the only ones. And the third monitor on my left. Especially because someone recommended it to her, right? Like, this was not her choice of a, of a thing to buy. Someone recommended that she get that one and that the most popular blindfold people have it. So, like, either she knew in advance about it, but she did the run without it first and then changed to this setup. Or she got lucky with the, the way it's built, I guess. The On blindfold? top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, Queen Ponzalot also sits back in her chair and looks up in an unnatural way. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This is because while her blindfold was partially <laughs> obscuring her sight, she could see straight through it and was looking at the monitor directly in front of her. With the new blindfold, she can't see through the front of it, which is why she has now completely changed her sitting position Damn, so she, she can changes see down her expression the as well. This a is lot. not a normal way to sit, and world-class blindfold speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position, it's a giant red flag. And uh, if I curve up even more, but that's already looking very Damn. sus, I guess, if you, if you sit there like your neck breaking. Uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see half of my monitor. <laughs> um, God damn! I can I can see OBS right now, literally. I can see the volume meters going up. I can see the picture. Hi Tinder, welcome in. I can see the other monitor. This and is crazy, it's as man. As that. There is a hidden monitor on the right, and she is playing through her OBS, which she discreetly moved to it. I can't believe I spent so much time researching aimbots when the solution was so stupidly basic. And while it's so easy just to say there was a hidden monitor, which some people did, it's an entirely different story to provide concrete evidence. The fact that we can literally see her move OBS to the hidden yeah. screen, the fact that she reads chat from it, the fact that she stares at it constantly, the fact that she wears her blindfold so loosely, and the fact that she sits in such a weird position, all prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this is the way she cheated. But here is my favorite part. After she- <laughs> Alright, before we get into his favorite part, uh, just to address chat as well, like, she is a solid monster hunter. Th that doesn't change, like, it doesn't change the fact that she's able to do the fights and she's good at the game, right? It just, I don't understand why you would fake this, why you would want it, and why you would put so much effort into, into that. But I guess, like, people, some people want fame. Why lie? Yeah, that's like, some people want more fame. I, I don't particularly understand that, personally. I think, like, you should stand on your own merits. But there are those type of people as well. It doesn't take away from the fact that she is skilled. But this just makes, this will just make a lot of people, she will be well known, right? Maybe she believes that any form of media or <laughs> is good, right? Maybe that's what she believes. But it's very weird to me to put your reputation down the drain like that. You think she wanted to ride the, the wave of Asmongold? <laughs> I see. And she picked Alatrion because the guy because Asmon was stuck on it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> could be, could be. I mean, there are people that try and like leech off of someone's struggles, take advantage of someone's struggles, right? And and ride that wave. But 
Yeah, like, I don't understand why you would lie, honestly. She's been saying that she's being harassed for this and it's all lies. And private in most of her medias. I mean, I can expect the fact that the blowback is not going to be something that um, she wants to handle or deal with. I don't think it's going to be nice or pleasant. You pissing off an entire community, not only pissing off an entire community, but you're also pissing off, like you're making fun of people that are actually speedrunning. You're making fun of people that are actually doing blindfold challenges. You're making a mockery out of that entire thing. Then you pissed off the Monster Hunter community. Then you made a fool of the people that believed in you. <laughs> like, you're pissing off so many people. Like, this is... <sighs> this is one of those cases of she fucked around, found out, and now she has to play victim because of it. Which I'm not sure that's gonna work, playing victim. I think it's much... It's much better to just come clean, apologize, say that you are indeed a piece of shit, and that you, you just meant to... You just didn't know any better, right? Like... I think that would be the more mature approach. I don't think <laughs> I don't think she will want to have to deal with this for a long time, but it's it, this is career suicide in a way. I don't know if necessarily career suicide, but I don't think playing the victim is going to work. Mind you. She played around, found out, and got bit back really hard. Yeah, like, if you piss off that many people, yeah. It, <laughs> I don't know, like, it's my... I know that there's drama around it. I didn't know what she did too much. Like, I just knew there was, like, a lot of drama around the speedrun thing. And this is the first video that I see on it. But, like, I can myself see, just being an outsider, right, how many communities and how many people you're pissing off. But damn, I still don't know why someone would do something like that. Right, let's see what the best thing is. She has killed Alatreon, and while paper is still covering her screen, she looks directly at the hidden monitor and moves the camera around perfectly. It's like she's not even trying to hide it. And beyond all of this, the simple fact remains, the way she played the game is impossible to do if you can't see. Now let's be real for a second. At the end of the day, this entire thing isn't a big deal. This is just silly, fun internet drama, and it's just really interesting. Oh, and let's not mention the entire part where she also brought up uh, autism <laughs> as a reason why she was able to do it versus other people. It's like, bruh, you're digging your own grave. People do love to see failure, that is very true, and they do love to rip into people. I agree, like, with with the creator of the video, like, at the end of the day, it is just drama. At the end of the day, you, someone did mock a community, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should be vicious about it. Interesting to learn how Queen Pwns a lot faked her blindfold runs. Personally, I'm not emotionally charged about this. I just love trying to expose video game fraudsters because I enjoy it. <laughs> this whole back and forth is honestly really entertaining. But make no mistake, <laughs> her behavior is not healthy. And no, it's not her, her behavior is despicable and uh, personally I don't want anything to do with her as a creator. Like, such a person, I... I think it's taking it too far and you're you're mocking things like mm, not in a nice way. Not a good thing. 
There are gamers who spend thousands of hours legitimately trying to do amazing things without the ability to see. Blindfolded gaming takes a lot of hard work, and it takes a lot of ingenuity, and Queen Pones a lot keeps taking a giant steaming dump on all of their efforts. Because of her actions, people are going to trust the accomplishments of real gamers even less. Skepticism will disproportionately rise, and the public will become even more cynical. But on the flip side, maybe that's a good thing. The amount of people who threw common sense to the wayside and took her runs at face value is pretty shocking. Maybe people do need to be a bit more skeptical, and maybe this lesson was an important one to learn. Let me know what you think in the comments. I worked with a group of gamers who helped me do research for this video. No. including the YouTuber Abisoft, who is also releasing a video about this most recent run. I, I don't know necessarily if I agree with his take on that particularly. I, I think people won't be able to tell anyway the difference between what's a blindfold run and what's not a blindfold run. Because we're not experts. Like, the audience that got fooled or tricked, a lot of them, right? A majority of us. We don't know jack shit about it. Like, we, we're just gonna look at it and be like, ooh, clap. And if it gets disproven, we're gonna be like, oh, that sucks, and move on with our lives. Like, that, that's it. <laughs> that, that, that's the entire process. Um, but, yeah, like, I don't think necessarily it's going to make me more skeptical in that regard. Maybe because I'm not that dedicated or not that close to it. I do think it will make the people dedicated to blindfolds, people that are really interested into that, in the, that community, I think they will definitely be more skeptical of other people coming in. Which is a bit sad, but it is a bit human nature. And it is hard to... to not. <laughs> right? It's, it's hard not to go for for skepticism after being faced with that. It is hard to debunk Monster Hunter cheaters. Cheaters with skill or damage mods are super clever. Yeah, like... Uh, it, 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 it sucks. It sucks. Like, at the end of the day, I feel like what she did is... is sad, right? It's... And I don't see why you would do that. I don't think she deserves death threats from people if she is getting them. She probably is because it's the internet. I don't think she even deserves people talking about her. Because it, that just gives more exposure to her and her name. And you will remember her one way or another, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's like the worst thing you can do to someone that tried to crawl their way to fame and to attention is just ignore them. I say that as I'm going to post this video on the on YouTube because yeah, you got to milk the people that are interested in drama. <laughs> I I kid, I kid. I think it's a cool video and it's worth like sharing my own thoughts on it and having people talk about it, but but I do think that she isn't worth giving a damn about because this is exactly what she wants, right? She wants to to have people hate on her. Like, okay, she doesn't want people to hate on it, so, so I can explain a bit better, right? She wanted fame, she wanted views, she wanted more people. She got that. But she got it with hate. She got haters. But a lot of the haters, right, people hate watch you. You can time people out and they'll sit there and wait until the timeout runs out. She can ban people and they'll still hate watch. People will become invested and you get those people that are like frantic about it. And whether that whether she can put up with that whether she has the skin to toughen it out right that's a completely different story but you do get those people by doing that yeah it was a it was a good video it was a <laughs> the way he narrates it the way he voiced it it sounded literally like one of those crime documentaries 
<laughs> it's like, pum 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 pum. <laughs> it was really cool as a video.